Something else that's really been weighing on me is this Brian Williams thing. He's back in the news. He's leaving. He's probably not going away. But I want to bring in my buddy Rob O'Neill to discuss this. Rob, shot the shop in Laden, so everybody knows who you are. Um, I loved your tweet just before it went on air that said, like, who knows what could happen, you know, on this show today. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> there I was, no kidding, is sort of the way I put it. Yep. And that's always the way, as, as, a, as a fellow combat veteran, know that we'll start a story. We know something fun's about to be said or whatever. Um, I was dan dancing with you, too. That is some really good intro music. That's, that's Thanks, cool. man. I appreciate that. So, look, I mean, me and Amanda were talking about this uh, earlier. And the issue of fake valor, where someone claims, oh, there I was, no no, no, be, no bull, you know, and there, people like Brian Williams, oh, my helicopter was shot down. We got hit by an RPG. I mean, he's lied about stuff like this time and time again. And when we were talking about this topic, I was like, dude, Rob O'Neill for this one. So awesome. what do you say to someone who's out there making up all these claims just for self-indulgence? Uh, to, to be perfectly honest, I'm I'm just over it. What Whatever. I mean, it, I, I didn't, like, I always say I didn't know everyone was a war hero until I got on Instagram. I didn't know they had private jets, too. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, Brian Williams, I've never met him. I'm, I've heard he's a nice guy, but he, his story got worse and worse. He said it a lot of times. I'm um, just making up stuff about a different thing, you know, everything from the helicopter that he wasn't even on getting hit. There was actually an hour in front of him to uh, watching someone commit suicide in the Superdome during uh, Katrina. And uh, uh, there, when the when the Berlin Wall came down, which he wasn't, it's just nonsense. You got guys like Senator Blumenthal, no shame at all, saying he's a Vietnam veteran forever until he didn't realize the tapes at the time would eventually say, uh, no, you weren't, and we have the Internet. And everyone knows you're lying. Eh, it's okay, because a lot of politicians, zero shame whatsoever. You know, I know comedians, they still content from other stories so they can put it out there. But what does it say when somebody like Brian Williams is stealing that content, especially for somebody who is in the media and sharing this with millions of viewers? Well, the insulting part comes when, you know, a, a, an RPG actually does hit a helicopter like like it did with Extortion 17. We lost 31 great Americans uh, when it hit Turbine 33 uh, in the Conar Valley. We lost 18 Americans. Um, it, when, it, when, it, when an RPG hits a helicopter, it goes down and everybody dies, generally. And so that's the insult that somewhere, I know I know a bunch of kids out there that don't have dads to watch football with today because they were killed in a real combat zone on a real helicopter that really got shot down. So people should, they should, you know, look at that. But again, someone that says it like, it just, I just feel icky for him. Like, you're gross. Yeah. It, well, you know, it's funny, it, it, Rob, and you, you've been in helicopters and you've been in combat, so have I. And I remember my helicopter got shot at one time. We took a couple rounds, not an RPG. And I really remember that. I'm like, oh, man, are we going to crash? And Brian was like, oh, I misremembered. You don't yep. misremember that. <laughs> <laughs> I misremember. I remember being in Iraq and taking RPG fire in a, in a Chinook. And then we heard the dishka, which is that chunk, 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 the, the uh, anti-aircraft Yeah, the gun. chaff. It, we didn't get hit by anything, thank God. We'd all be dead, but you don't misremember that. That's kind of etched in your brain, you know, like, like the, <laughs> I mean, it's not it's it's not funny to think about, but it's like that someone, I mean, to make up a story like that, I like to tell the truth because it's easy to remember. I don't need to tell lies. And I even got some crap on uh, Twitter today. Someone said, uh, oh, look, I'm Rob O'Neill. I killed Bin Laden. Why do you always say that? I'm like, fine, I'll make you a deal. You tell everyone I ever talk to every day to stop asking. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Well, real quick, I want to get to this. So Congress, all right. And Amanda and I were, were discussing this earlier, and we were both blown away by this. So Congress has, since World War II, there's been a, a massive decline in the number, mm -hmm. actually since Vietnam, a massive decline. What were those numbers, Amanda? Yeah, and, and so right now our Congress, the 117th Congress, we have 91 veterans. But on top of that, I do want to point out something which is kind of interesting, because both of you guys are from Navy SEALs. There's five former Navy SEALs that are running for Congress, and that would be Derek Van Orden, Brady Duke, Eli Crane, Morgan Luttrell, and Ryan Zinke. So we're seeing these men enter. But yeah, I mean, we're down to 91 veterans for this specific Congress. What is happening here? Well, I mean, veterans are getting in now because we realize, and I'm saying both of uh, Democrats and Republicans being veterans will do something that Congress doesn't do now. They'll get in the same room with each other and they'll talk about things. They won't have closed door meetings. They'll be transparent, which is a just a joke that flies around right. Washington, D.C. Veterans will do it. I mean, look at Tulsi Gabbard right now. She's a veteran. She's a Democrat. She's taking all kinds of heat because she's radical. I'm pretty sure she'll be an anti-feminist white supremacist soon. Uh, just she has a D on the name, so they're waiting on it. But we need veterans. They're seeing it. Guys like Morgan Luttrell, they don't, he doesn't need to run for Congress. Uh, right. Van Orden doesn't need to run for Congress. Zinke, Zinke was already in there, doesn't need to, but they, 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 they feel the pull 
the, right. uh, they see what's happening in D.C. and they, they need to bring truth back to it. And then truth in, 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 in the Beltway is, is non-existent. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, like that's I, I love veterans because we're Call a spade a spade. We call what it is. So, and Robert you also O'Neill? dedicated your oh. life to our country. I mean, yeah. do you love our country? Do you love America? Both of you guys. Rob, we're up against a hard break. I appreciate you joining us, buddy. Yeah, thank you for having me.